fortunate man. <laughs> you are favor. You are highly favor. God bless you. <laughs> highly favor. <laughs> you will never leave us to an end. You know, praise God. Some people are just favor in life. He is just favor. In Jesus. It's a prophetic word. You know, he just favor. And uh, she attended the marriage school as she was here yesterday. You are not here. You remember her? She gave a testimony yesterday about how she, get, she got married easily. And uh, now I've seen him and I've agreed that he's favored. Can you give them mic to talk? Maybe let the lady talk first. Come close, please. Praise the Lord. I've been attending this program since 2012. So, really, in my family, like I said yesterday, it has never, ever been done. What? What has not been done? I think, I've not seen anybody getting married in my family, family where I come from. Since they you just, were born? Since I was born, I've never <laughs> seen it. They just have children. They, some of them just live with the men, but nothing like any form of, maybe even probably introduction. The only two people that came for introduction did not even come back. So, when I came to Pastor Chris's program, it was my colleague in the office who was disturbing me to come. He showed me one Ghanaian lady's testimony and everything. So, I just said, okay, let me just try. So, when I came, I went to the marriage school because of the plenty of testimonies I saw. So, it, Pastor Chris told I and my sister that we're going to get married in the class. So, my sister looked at me and two of us started laughing because we know our history. So, it was like impossible, but... You know, along the line, I did not quit. Each time I come for this program, I must partake in the seed, in the sacrificial offering, even in the partnership. Then, again, he, there was a time they sent us to come for one program about believing. He said, you have, been, you have not had faith. You have not been believing, but just risk believing. So that message touched me. I said, okay, all this way, since it's not possible for me, to, if it's not possible, possible for my fa people within my family to get married, let me just risk believing if this thing is going to work. So last and early this year, I saw the, the program and in January. I saw the team. He said the, 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 the mystery of the marriage box. And something just hit me and said, this is my program. And so when I came, Pastor Chris said to us on the last day, he said, oh, um, the program is over. Take away all the banners on the streets. You can use them as your mantle. You can do any, you know. I said, okay, me too, I will just try. And so when I was going, I just stopped at the bus stop. I saw three of the banners, and I took the three of them. And so when I took the three of the banners, <laughs> it did not even reach two weeks. The best thing that I always, you know, Pastor Chris said, you must not love before you get married, because I've been following him for two years now without going back. And so he said, you must not love, but you can just like at least maybe something that will endear that person to your heart. And so I saw my husband in the church, faithful servant, and he's very close to my pastor. That's the kind of person I want. The ones who will give me problems. So I just, I just like him, you know, from far. <laughs> Nobody but likes problems. We've been in the church for like five years, and we're not talking. We've not, we don't, he doesn't know me. I don't know him. Because I'm a very quiet person. I just do my own thing from back. I will just disappear. So we, I don't know how it happened, but miraculously, when I got the banner, he just came to me. He said to me, I want to marry you. I don't want to sleep with you. I don't want to do anything. I just want to marry you straight. That was what he said. What a mighty God we serve. And so, you know, the marriage would have been earlier than this because with the speed he was coming, I was just remembering Pastor Chris telling us the king's matter needs urgency. It but, requires urgency. Yeah, but <laughs> it was not up to one month. He lost his mom. So, you know, but I knew that he was the devil that was trying to see, okay, can this be, you know. Then in June, the mom was buried. After June, his father called me and said, no, they can't wait anymore. They have to come and do my introduction. In that June, I said, no, you could just bury your mom and they should wait. I was the one that was telling them to wait, at least give us more, you know, respect. So in August, my introduction to play, my introduction was already like a traditional marriage. And in, in, on November 5th, my traditional marriage took place. That was, was too big, you know. Then on this 19th of November, we got married in the church. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. And just bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. What a 
Almighty God say. What a mighty God. It's amazing. This is marvelous in our sight. It's amazing. Because I've taught her in the class. I know that she loves the Lord so much. Too much. <laughs> too much. You know? Oh, this is touching. It's so touching. Congratulations. Can you give him my to talk briefly? Let's hear from him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hello. Praise the living God. <laughs> um, Daddy, I must tell you, the climax of this whole testimony is as a result of me meeting you one on one. Mm. Yes. Because the very first time I saw it was, I think, River State Television Authority. I was yes. watching. Arrested. Yes, I arrested you. So when I saw you, I was like, wow. I listened to you throughout that program. Then after a while, I met her. So each time we are talking, she's like, wow, Pastor Chris taught me who I am. Everything is you, you, you. I was like, ah, maybe I need to come and see you. <laughs> and today, I, I, I must say that seeing you one-on-one -on -one and shaking your hand is one of the happiest things that ever happened to me. Then on her part, we have been in the same church for like eight years, and we don't talk. Me, I do my service. I'm, I happen to be the assistant PA to my senior pastor. So we are always minding the man of God. And sometime earlier this year, January, February 21st, something strikes me to talk to her. And when we began, I began to see different things altogether. But one thing I must say, the Bible says, He that found a wife, found a good thing, obtained favor from the Lord. Ever from the day one I met her, I've met personalities, I've seen favor. I can't even imagine. This I've seen is unimaginable. Indeed, she's a blessing. Our traditional marriage, our, our traditional wedding, rather, was a state traditional wedding. And mm. I was in the middle of, like, where we are standing, I was like, who is doing this kind of occasion? The same in our white wedding. Gift mm. here and there. But I want to thank God for what he has done. I think I met the right person, and my heart is full of joy. Ah! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, why wouldn't your heart be full of joy? After the wedding, things are working as you expected. You know, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor. Because he's treating her well, he's seeing favor. Every man learn how to treat your wife well so that favor will come. Are you understanding this now? And she's a girl that also kept herself. She did not move about with men. She kept herself. Like she said yesterday, this is the only man she has ever known all her life and the only man she will ever know. That is how it's supposed to be. Everybody here that indulges in sex, please stop. Stop and let the man know that you have decided to stop. The man will have respect for you. It is better that way. Now they are so happy. And it's just the beginning of blessing. You know, I told you you are favored. <laughs> Father, let your favor increase. Neither. Neither. Let your favor pursue your son, overtake him, and be with him. In his going out, in his coming in, in everything he does, in Jesus' name. Like as your uh, daughter, give her wisdom, patience to take care of the husband and the children. It's a fruitful marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, for everything shall work out well for them. Through them, people shall know the truth and they shall come to the Lord in Jesus' name. The work you want them to do, Father, Minister unto them, let them know the work and let them start. Direct them to that particular thing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are free. What a mighty God! Pictures. Huh? pictures. Can we show, see the pictures on the screen? 